This video was brought to you by Stolenberg, a bedroom planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Hello, yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the Mercedes EQB. And you know, in this video, I'm gonna test something. Many people, well, actually, fortunately, not many people, but some people from time to time claim that uh, the car is more efficient if we drive in D plus or D plus plus, or if you try to coast, or if you use D mode instead of B mode. I already did a test with the uh, Leaf, and it turns out it's the same. But what about the Deutsche Auto? Well, we can try it today. So first, let me show you that uh, we have some buttons here, dynamic and whatever. We're gonna put it in comfort mode and everything here is comfort so we're not going to use any sport or anything so we run comfort mode and we can also see here that uh, okay well i can tell you that i've been driving for several hours before i came here so the car is nice and warm the interior everything has been properly heated up for several hours and right now we are pulling 1.5 kilowatt hour per hour <laughs> uh, triple face palm right there uh, but anyway so at least we see now that um, um, the starting position should be equal so um, let's just start driving and I will show you what we're gonna do now we're gonna test we are on the moon now so um, today we have dry uh, roads uh, very little wind and I'm cruising 93 kilometers per hour on the speed which is 90 GPS speed temperature is 1 degree Celsius and um, we say we are in D minus right now so that's the one setting with the, let me see, let's check the flaps. Yeah, D minus is the one with the highest region for this car. So we will see how much this car consumes and we will do an ABA testing, which is we drive from Dahl, go to maybe Minnesota. I think that's good enough. And then back again, but I just want to, uh, to test now, how is the consumption when we have the highest setting on the region? We just turn around at Minnesota now. We're heading back. So over here, temperature, well, it was zero degrees. It's now half degree. So very even temperature. Consumption is 207. We have to wait a little bit before we're back. So uh, let's see then. Round one, 199 watt uh, per kilometer. All right, let's reset and then set it to, well, D plus. And there we go again. You see, the road is still the same. Traffic is still the same, speed is the same, temperature is the same, everything is the same, except that we are using D plus right now. And also you see that we go downhill and then the speed doesn't really increase that much because the car is just regening. Just like in the other setting, it's just regening uh, when we are in uh, adaptive cruise control. So um, let's see if this makes any difference then. Round two. 202 watt uh, per kilometer. <laughs> we actually use a little bit more this time, but that could probably just be variation. So yes. So see, based on this test, we conclude that uh, using B mode or D mode or using D plus plus or D minus minus or whatever, doesn't make any difference as long as you're driving on the motorway. And yes, I keep seeing this comment from time to time when I do 1000 kilometer challenge, people say, Oh, but you were driving in B mode. If you drove in D mode, it would be way better. I'm like, well, well, well. Don't listen to those noobs, okay? Listen to Uncle Bjorn. I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.